In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use stat mode to calculate the total and mean of a set of values. We're also going to use the min-max feature of stat mode to place a fraction, decimal and percentage in order. We're going to use stat mode to find the sum total and mean of the following values, and the values are listed here. Now we're going to enter stat mode by pressing mode and then pressing 2. You can see stat mode listed here. Now we've got a variety of different functions available here, eight in fact, most of which relate to the statistical process regression, which we're not going to have a look at in this particular video. Press 1 to choose one var, which stands for single variable. When you're presented with the next screen, you need to carefully input your six values into the calculator. Now I've sped the video up here, you just need to take your time to make sure that you input those values correctly. Once you've done this, you need to press AC. That will take us to this screen, where you should have a zero displayed and stat at the top here. Now we're going to press Shift and 1 to enter the stat menu, which should give us a choice of options. Now the first two selections in this menu refer to going back and editing the data, so the type of data, and if we wanted to edit the data we'd press 2. But we're going to press 3 for sum. Now we see two options here, sum of x squared or the sum of x. Now we're going to choose sum of x. We can see that represented here with the Greek letter sigma, which you might have encountered before on Microsoft Excel. Press equals, and here we have our total of the values, 1074. Let's go back to stat mode again, press shift and then 1, and this time we're going to press 4 for var, I'm not sure whether this stands for variable or variance. We're going to choose 1, just to have a little look at what n means, and it's 6, well it's the number of values. So essentially we have all the information that we need to calculate the mean, the total sum of the values and the number of values. But the calculator can do this for us, it has a mean function, so if we go back into the stat menu and press 4 for var, and then choose 2, the mean is represented by the symbol x bar. So you just need to have a look out for that one. So if you choose that one and press equals, then that will show our mean. So our mean is 179. We can also use stat mode to put a fraction, decimal and percentage probability into order starting with the least. The probabilities are listed here. Press mode and then 2 to enter stat mode, and press 1 to choose one var or single variable. Carefully input your three values using the percentage button and the fraction button to help you. 83.3% first, don't forget to include the percentage. Notice how the calculator has changed this to a decimal value for the table. Now to input the fraction, we need to be careful because the stat operates in line mode or similar to line mode. We need to press the numerator first, then the fraction button, then 6. And it's also changed that to a decimal as well. And now we've got our decimal 0.83. Press AC and then press Shift and 1 to enter the stat menu. We want to choose 5, min max. Now we've got two choices here, one to find the minimum value of x and one to find the maximum value of x. For the minimum value of x, we've got 0.83, so it's the decimal value. So we're going to put that first as that is the least. We can also find out what the maximum or the greatest value is and therefore we can find the highest probability. We'll go back into min max and this time select 2 for maximum value of x. Here we have another decimal number, but actually if we press SD, then we can see that it's actually the fraction 5, 6. So 5, 6 is the highest or the greatest value that we have here. As we only have three values, well, the percentage 83.3% must fall in the middle. So we've actually now put the three probabilities in order. These are the features that we've looked at in this lesson. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you an alternative way of calculating a total and the mean using the independent memory function on the calculator.